Hi, I'm Jim Thomas with Imtra Corporation. I'm here today to share with you uh, a technique on how to change the pressure finger and spring assembly on a low Franz Project X-Series windlass. The function of a pressure finger on a windlass is to assist with rope management. The finger with spring tension pushes on the rope to the center of the chain wheel where gripper teeth bite on the rope and allow for rope recovery. Over time, the tension of the spring may have relaxed and it may need to be replaced. Today we'll go through the steps to change the equipment. The tools required to change the pressure finger and spring assembly are the winch handle that comes with the windlass and a five millimeter Allen key. We'll begin. Before we begin, the first thing to do will be to secure the anchor to a cleat so that when we release the clutch and remove the equipment from the top works, we don't deploy the anchor. Once our ground tackle has been secured and the chain and the rope have been removed from the chain wheel, we can begin disassembling the windlass. We begin by inserting the handle into the star-shaped receiver on the clutch cap, turning it counterclockwise until it's loose enough that we can remove it with our fingers. The next step will be to remove the two fasteners here, which will allow us access to the chain stripper, which must be removed in order to take the chain wheel off. We've loosened these for the video, and here we go. Those two fasteners come out. That allows us to reach in and pull out the chain stripper. This is a device that prevents the rope and the chain from spooling up like a fishing reel would, and it, it will kick the ground tackle off of the chain wheel and send it down below deck. It peels it off. Some people will call it a peeler. Others will call it a stripper. That's its function. The final fastener is next to the pressure finger itself. We'll release the final fastener, peel the finger away from the chain wheel, and raise it up and remove it. The original spring it can be inspected. It may be damaged. It may simply have, uh, have lost its, original, its tension, and it's time to replace it. Now that these parts are off, we can lift the chain wheel off. The upper clutch cone will come with it. The lower clutch cone can stay in place. You'll notice that the deck plate has a cutout where, this, where the spring resides. You can position the spring securely into the deck plate and then drop the spring stiffener, which is a little stainless rod, into the center of the spring itself. The function of that device, that little uh, spring stiffener, is to prevent lateral motion when the pressure finger is under pressure. With the pressure finger secured to the underside of the chain pipe cover and the spring and spring stiffener dropped into the, lowered into the top works assembly, we're ready to put it all back together. We, we simply position the pressure finger over the spring until you can feel that spring tension. I think you can see it there with the camera. We're going to revolve or rotate the chain pipe cover and then take our fastener closest to the pressure finger and re reinstall it into the top works. This will hold everything in place as we position the next components back onto the windlass. It's now time to peel the pressure finger open, don't be afraid of it, and drop the chain wheel, lower the chain wheel back onto the main shaft Wiggle your upper clutch cone until it seats properly, and there you have it. Your finger's back in place. All we have left to do is replace the stripper. Note that it is not symmetrical. The longer end faces the pressure finger itself. That device, again, will peel the rope and the chain off of the chain wheel and send the ground tackle to the locker below deck. Resecure these two fasteners. 
reinstall the clutch cap. Cinch it back in place, tensioning your clutch. And the pressure finger and spring assembly have been replaced. IMTRA has exploded parts drawings available online for all model windlasses and you may find that helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to call us. We're always here to help.